Um, okay. Hi, I'm Lauren. I haven't made a video in over two months at this point. I had a surge of motivation tonight. I'm like, I actually need to make a video. You know, I, I used to make two videos a week, then I just stopped. So I, I was like, let me open up my new island of Peridot that I started when I restarted my island two months ago. So I open up my Animal Crossing game today and it, it reloads in at the deserted island getaway package desk with the nooks. My game automatically reset itself. Luckily, I hadn't done anything on the island besides the first day, which is good. But also now I'm scared that it's going to do it again once I've completed the island. I have no idea how that even happened, but we're just going to restart this thing real quick. Maybe the game just kind of knew that I wasn't feeling it. And it's like, you know what? We're going to give her a fresh start. Maybe I needed this. Maybe I needed this. Who are my starting villagers even on the island that I just restarted. It was so long ago that I don't even remember. So yes, that was a sign that I just needed to restart all over again. Thank you so much, Animal Crossing New Horizons for making that decision for me. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's see what outfit it gives me. Oh. Okay, that is not what I look like. Did it make me a boy? I think it made me a boy. I don't think it matters in the grand scheme of things which gender you choose, but I would just prefer to be a girl. That's just me though. I'm really not digging the turquoise polka dot shirt, but uh, you get what you get, you know? You can't have it all. Oh god, I have to pick an island. Why did I forget that this portion of restarting even existed? Um, I'm really not digging any of them. This one has a faraway resident services. The peninsula looks small though. Small peninsulas deserve love too. So should I just take it? I can't do that to myself. I really want to build on the peninsula. You know what? Let's do double south rivers. This peninsula looks pretty sizable. I'm just not gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna pick it. Oh god, who are my starting villagers gonna be? You know what? I'm just not gonna care who they are. I'm not gonna stress myself out about something I can't control because that's the story of my life. That's all I ever do is stress myself out about things that I can't control. Story of my life. Let me stop. Not us being in the fall time. Okay, we got peaches. I'm not horribly angry at that. <gasps> Is that hazel? Not me getting hazel on a fall time island. And I have an orange airport too. That seems so fall to me. We're gonna ignore the fact that I have Hamlet right here. I said I wouldn't be mad, so I'm not gonna talk about it. It's kind of embarrassing for me. So we're gonna neglect to address that. I have never had Hazel before in my life. This is kind of exciting. I know she's controversial because she has a unibrow, but if you don't like Hazel because she has a unibrow, ask yourself this. Why do you expect women? Why do you expect women squirrels to not have unibrows? This is why we need feminism. Some women have unibrows. Some squirrels also have unibrows. Get over it, sweaty. Okay, I'm gonna speed run this. I'm going to put down all of our tents and I'll check back in when I have all my shit set up when we're ready to name the island. Okay, I already have a problem with the double south rivers because one of the river heads is too close and isn't giving me enough beach to build my tent and now I'm kind of stressed out. Like, tell me this isn't annoying. I should be able to place a tent in this giant- there we go. In this ginormous patch of sand, I was like, no way they're not gonna let me build a single tent here. All right, it's time to name the island. We're going with Peridot again because no way my switch is just gonna delete my island and I'm not gonna get to use the name Peridot. Fuck out of here. There we go, Peridot. Period. Period. I suppose as everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Peridot. You know, I didn't know that was gonna happen. I didn't know they were gonna pick that. This game has so much variation to it. All right, island is all set up. I think all that's left to do now is go to bed and the first day will be over. Oh, I forgot. One of my favorite parts of restarting is finding out which cot color and lamp color I get to. So let's go check that out and maybe have a little chit chat about this island. Okay, we got a black radio and a black lamp. Okay, they think I'm a goth queen. Let's see, camping cot is... This is like a 2013 style pattern. Look, I'm not mad. It doesn't look horrible together. I kind of like like that the lamp and the radio match, but it's not ideal for sure, especially combined with the polka dot shirt, but whatever. So I've just been kind of falling out of love with 
gaming recently, especially Animal Crossing, which was my main game that I would always play for hours and hours. It was no problem filming two videos a week. I just really enjoyed playing Animal Crossing. But like mid this year, mid 2023, I just, I just could not stand to actually play the game. And I think it's a combination of a lot of things. I got a puppy, which has made me very very tired i already have pretty bad fatigue from having postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome so not sleeping enough on top of that is just a recipe for disaster for me and also i think a big thing that ruined my love for the game was that i used treasure islands to build my last island and it doesn't feel really satisfying to finish an island knowing that I didn't really put in the effort to get the items. I'm not someone who just wants to decorate an island. I'm someone who wants to get all the villager photos myself. I like earning Nook Miles points to then get things from the Nook Miles stop. I like procuring my own items on my own. Aside from Nook Miles tickets, I will always use Treasure Islands for that. But for this island, I want to use Treasure Islands very, very minimally from now on. So just for Nook Miles tickets and maybe like a thing here and there that I really want. Maybe if I want a certain like clothing item or something like that, but not for anything super big I'm thinking. So I don't know what I said I was going to do with this island when I filmed my island restarting video two fucking months ago, but I'm kind of just going to go with the flow. I'm not going to completely rule out Treasure Islands, but... I'm gonna try to do it all myself, just like how I did with the first island I ever built on this channel, my pink island called Rosine. It felt really satisfying and fun to finish that island because I really worked for it. I would play like almost every single day, doing all my daily tasks. It was just something that I enjoyed doing instead of just running through the motions and then like getting all my items from Treasure Islands. No hate if that's how you like to build your islands. I'm just not that type of girl. And that's the beauty of New Horizons is you can decide how you want to play it because it's kind of just whatever you want to do. So without further ado, Tom Nook just talked me into quite a hefty amount of debt. Um, so I think we need to earn some Nook Miles to pay our first loans off. Debt scares the hell out of me, like to the point that I don't even have a credit card because I'm scared like what if one day I just what if it turns out that I'm bipolar and I have a manic episode and then I run up my credit cards you know I don't like the idea of that because I know people that that's happened to we could all be bipolar and not know it I'm just saying so I don't like that this game puts me in debt but we're gonna pay this shit off and that's the fun of this game is now I have to work for some nook miles do you see what I'm saying oh look we got our first nook miles of the island Herodo miles look at that period miles I love that for us. Are we rich? Not us having 500 Nook Miles points. Okay, it's actually nighttime in real life, which is why it's nighttime in the game right now. Not my Switch being set to real time. I'm gonna start weeding and I'm gonna try to sell a bunch of weeds to get some Nook Miles maybe and earn some bells. I do also want to try to earn most of my bells, but I know that that's really hard and I don't know if I have the time to just sit around playing the game ringing up bells all the time. I swear to god, getting a puppy has changed my life i love her but i'm so exhausted she does not like when i sit down to play a game or to work she's part husky and you can definitely tell she is by her voice if she feels like you should be paying attention to her instead of looking at like a computer screen or something she will sit there in front of you and do the saddest little puppy cry you've ever heard and i don't like ignoring her because one thing that i hate is when people come over to my house and my dog greets them and they just ignore her and walk right by her and i'm like hello don't ignore my puppy pat her on the head please you fucking weirdo how could you resist patting a little puppy on the head so i never want to be that asshole that ignores their dog i don't want her to get depression dogs get depression you know i'm trying to feed this girl right and treat her emotionally well so she doesn't want to dash out of the house whenever the door opens and guess what i'm succeeding she can go off leash outside and she sticks around me if i call her she'll come back because she trusts me and this is why you should pet your dogs people but anyways my point being is that if she sees me just laying around on my switch she'll 
be like, you're absolutely not doing that. This is not what you're gonna be doing right now because I'm bringing you a toy and we're gonna play with it right now, actually. So who knows how long it'll take me to complete this island. Maybe I'll give up and actually end up using treasure islands. My goal with this island is to just re-fall in love with Animal Crossing, really get that itch to play Animal Crossing again. Instead of feeling like, ugh, I have to play Animal Crossing right now, I wanna feel like, ooh, I can't wait to play Animal Crossing. I can't wait to record a video playing Animal Crossing. It actually feels so weird to be recording a video right now. I haven't done this in ages and I don't even remember how to do it. Am I, do you guys think I'm, I'm weird right now? Am I doing it right? Am I videoing correctly? That sounded like something a millennial would say. Did I win the internet for today? I'll stop. But hey guys, how you doing? What type of Animal Crossing videos do you guys like to watch? Because my favorite to film are villager hunts because I also love watching villager hunts. I'm not really into watching building videos if I'm honest. Villager hunts are my go-to for sure. I do film speed builds, but that was more of an avenue for me to have video footage to overlay commentary over because I talk way too much and just needed a way to talk way too much on my youtube channel because at the time that i started it i had like no friends <laughs> you know what that's the beauty of youtube i had like no friends when i started youtube i didn't have anyone to really talk to frequently besides my parents and now i know a bunch of people from youtube shout out to online friends back when i was a one direction stan and had a one direction fan account in middle and high school i met my friend who lives in new zealand and we We've been friends for almost 10 years now. Like that's insane. And we'll be friends for life. And before I got POTS, I was going to visit her one day. Shout out to Kate. <laughs> one day if my POTS disappears, I will go to New Zealand, mark my words. Isn't New Zealand like pretty? Isn't it very grassy and hilly? It's kind of a random place to me. Like the fact that I know someone from New Zealand, such like a small country. Is it small population wise though? Let me stop talking because someone from New Zealand is gonna be watching this and be like it's actually the 72nd biggest country in the world i don't know how to say world in new zealand that definitely wasn't an accurate accent either i think tonight is just the night that i offend uh kiwi people so i'm actually sorry you know i was just thinking i don't think i know of any famous people from new zealand but i used to watch this makeup guru growing up who lived in the same town as my kiwi friend and one day my friend went to the gym and she saw that makeup guru at her gym and she texted me like oh my god i just like i met shannon at the gym but she was really rude to me and i was like oh no like that sucks and then she's like yeah can you post this on your fan your one direction fan account with tens of thousands of followers on it and i'm like yeah i'm a good friend of course i'll post it if you ask so i posted it and then shannon saw it and got really mad at me and then my friend messaged her and I don't know what she told her, but Shannon was cool with her. And then Shannon just fucking hated me and blocked me. I think I'm still blocked to this day on that account. It's honestly water under the bridge though. That's just a really funny memory to have. Shannon, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I was being a good friend, okay? Anyways, let's sell these fucking weeds and let's stop dwelling on the past, how about? We also do need to take Tom Nook's DIY workshop, uh, but first, let's see if Timmy will buy my weeds. Buy my weed. Not me being a weed seller, stop. Okay, Timmy's trying to sell me things and I really don't appreciate it. I honestly just wanted you to buy things. Oh, there we go. We're not just sellers, we'll also buy things from you. Cool, cool, Timmy. I knew Timmy would come through. I told you, Timmy is the better nook. Prove me wrong. You can't. Okay, I have several weeds, Timmy. Here you go. And he's gonna give me 4,070 bells. Not me being rich. Not me being wealthy. Not me being Jeff Bezos. How many nook miles did we get? 300 nook miles. And then... Ooh, 500 nook miles. So we got 800 in total. And we only need 3,700 more left to get. All right, Tom, let's take this DIY workshop. Let's get this show on the road i think he needs like 10 sticks or something today we'll be constructing a fishing rod perfect i can't wait i have not fished in this game in so long actually that's actually crazy okay i need five branches i'm gonna get more than that uh just for funsies just for shits and giggles i guess you could say i'm over prepared not me planning 
Not me planning for the future. I have this friend. Pause, this part seems really random to include because I didn't segue into it properly, but my thinking behind this was how I was preparing, collecting my sticks and I was so prepared for the future. And this girl's posts have to do with she always mentions preparing for the future, so you'll understand the context in a second. Who, okay, I don't know what's wrong with her because she seems very normal when you talk to her in real life. She's a friend that I know through a friend, okay? We're not like besties or anything. Uh, but she posts the weirdest shit on Facebook. Like, for her birthday this year, let me, let me read you this post. Here it is, okay, it says, Thanks guys for the birthday wishes. What would really make them come true is if I can help you get auto and home and insurance. If you don't want to be sued and your stuff taken, let's talk umbrella policies. This is policies with a Y apostrophe S and what it can do for you. Message me and let me protect what matters to you. Your little ones deserve to have a home and a bed to sleep in. What if one accident can take that away? When I... When I'm telling you, when I saw that, I was like, this has to be satire, but it's not. Because she posts like that all the time. And I'm like really invested in seeing her posts now. Because I just want to see what things she's going to relate to uh, getting home and auto insurance. Because I think she sells... <laughs> insurance if you couldn't tell people be saying the darndest things happy birthday to me please buy insurance okay let's craft this fishing rod and stop talking shit i made a flimsy fishing rod i love that for me not me crafting okay now tom nook is mansplaining to me how to fish in this game as if i haven't played it before i thought we were feminists here tom nook i thought we accepted hazel for her hairy self but i guess not you know what let's fish tonight let's put this brand new fishing rod to good use. I forget at what point in this game we get blathers as well. Oh, I forgot about the shells too. I can sell these too. This is all coming back to me. You, we didn't check for the island flower. Wait a minute. Let me scour these edges for the island flower. <gasps> oh, those are cosmos in the distance. Do you see those? I'm so happy about that actually. Not that it matters because it's super easy to get all the flowers, but I'm happy about that. I love cosmos. Oh my god, I caught my first fish. And it is a fucking black bass. Okay, it's always the bass. Let's see what this little guy is. Is it an angel fish? It is a bitterling. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember to set these aside for when Blathers gets here so I don't accidentally sell them to Timmy. Do raccoons or whatever fucking animal Timmy is eat fish? Do you think that's why he buys the fish? Or are they vegetarians or something? Okay, this is gonna be a sea bass. This is like the only time in the game that I'll need a sea bass is to get it for the first time for my critterpedia and blathers. Wow, however did I know? Am I psychic? Am I that so raven? Oh my god, that's so largine. Okay, this is gonna be a bitterling again. I guarantee to you. I really am that so large eyed. It's the future I can see. Am I right? I don't know if this fish is even gonna... He's not gonna see that. We're ignoring this fish. It was probably another bitterling anyways. We don't need him. We don't need him anymore. I'm sorry, that was sexist of me to assume it was a him. It could have been a woman. It could have been a woman fish and that would have been okay. Oh, I lost the fish. That was disappointing. I was zoned out and just staring at my screen, but I defocused my eyes and was not paying attention. I have a problem right now. Um, I have a corneal abrasion. For those who don't know what that means, it means I have a cut on my eye and my right eye with the cut on it is kind of blurry, not gonna lie. And it really hurts and it keeps having fits where it starts stinging every time I blink. And the soonest ophthalmology appointment I could get at Johns Hopkins, which would be my preferred provider, was in December. For context, it's November 16th right now. The soonest they could schedule me for something that they require an appointment within 48 hours for, the soonest they could schedule me for was December 13th. So I obviously did not schedule with them. Uh, luckily, another provider had an appointment available uh, today is Thursday. They had an available appointment on next Tuesday, but I'll call the, these practices and be like, hi, I have a cut on my eye and urgent care diagnosed it and like it's not feeling any better. Can I make an appointment? And they're like, yeah, well, our system is flagging that you need to be scheduled within 48 hours for an appointment for 
the like symptom that we checked off for, but we don't have appointments available, so we can't even schedule you outside of that time frame. And I'm like, okay, great. So I'll just die then. I'll just lose my eye then. How about that? I just feel like there should be a way to override it. And I don't know if the receptionist like just didn't know how to. There has to be a way to get around that. No, they just would not schedule me. <laughs> they could not schedule me so but this second practice could did i just go on a rant this is just like the good old days guys this is just like the good old days when i used to record videos all the time okay let's see what do we have repeats of we have two crucian carps i don't know how to pronounce that word crucian crucian i don't fucking know we have a bitterling i'm gonna sell my seashells um it looks like those are all the repeats there and then i'm gonna put the other fish aside for when blathers gets here let me craft another fishing rod i think i'm just gonna wrap up my night fishing and move on to catching bugs tomorrow it's getting kind of late i do have work tomorrow so don't want to be on this for hours and hours tonight but i'm glad i played this i didn't absolutely dread playing this tonight so i'm just hoping to keep the same vibes and actually enjoy building my island up from the start i really hope it doesn't reset again that would be kind of inconveniencing for me uh, but it's fine i'm fine send good vibes guys send good vibes in the hopes that my island doesn't reset again I would cry so bad if I started building on this island and it just reset and lost my progress. I would actually quit Animal Crossing if that happened. Like, I would full-on change my profile picture, remove any reference to Animal Crossing on my channel at all. I would feel very betrayed. And I'm not even catching these fish at this point. I just lost two fish on my line. So that's my sign to uh, go to bed and stop playing this game. Can I get this one? No. Why did I... Why did I click that? Well, I don't know why I clicked that. Okay, anyways, I'm going to bed. Uh, good night, sleep tight. Oh, it's probably not night. It might not be night for you if you're watching this. That's awkward, that's uncomfortable. Good day or night or whatever it is for you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like because it kind of helps me. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want, but I would appreciate it. Um, And yeah, that's it. That's the video. Bye.